<laughs> Hello and welcome to the slickest production on the internet. <laughs> We're having some struggles today, but you know what? It's not streaming if you're not struggling. Um, hello and welcome to episode three of Fun Shots, The Burning Shores of Agilia. Today, part of a thing called Radio Free Wolf, which we will describe in just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to drop a chat command. And then uh, before we hop into the game or anything like that, uh, I want to go around and check in and see how all y'all been doing because it's been like two weeks since I saw any of you. So, sorry. <laughs> Riding the struggle bus. <laughs> well, it's not. Because it's just not. <laughs> I'm missing a screen. I don't have a microphone. I don't have headphones that work. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, other than that, I'm good. I'm on holiday, which is why I'm here. This is this is my Cornwall home. This is where I grew up. <laughs> we have decent internet, finally. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, welcome. I'm, I'm happy you could you could find your way here, even even though you're in a new place and without like half of your equipment. Yeah, I literally have my laptop. That is it. <laughs> it's okay. I've, I oh god, I'm pretty sure I've had people uh on shows come in like from their hotel room before so like basically that (laughs) happens life is life it's fine um but yeah what have have you been up to the last like two weeks uh i went to ibiza um now i'm here in cornwall uh just been hanging out with my dad he's made me a nice steak hey (laughs) Awesome. And that's, that's pretty much it, yeah. That's good, that's yeah. good. Sounds well, like, like a nice life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, look, everybody needs a vacation every once in a while. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm like, on the edge of, like, I should probably take a vac- like, give myself a vacation <laughs> at some point. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're having some relaxing time, and I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you're here. Yay! Surely... <laughs> Have you been? Hi. <clears throat> I've been good. I can't believe it's been two weeks. Right? Because <laughs> uh, I'm so used to playing with you every single week. Really? Mm-hmm. It's, it's been that long. Um, I'm good. What have I been up to? I've uh, I'm settled in. My PC is here. Woo! It's not working yet. Uh. <laughs> he got like he got bumped around a bit in the move. Right. And like oh, the UPS guy that delivered it last mm-hmm. week. Like he didn't deliver it to the right house for one thing, but what? marked in his notes that it was at the right house. So like, I was waiting all day for my package, and eventually I just like checked the tracking number, and it said it had arrived three hours earlier. And I was like, no, it didn't. Panic! So, like I know. So I called them. I was like, where's my package? They're like it's at your house. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at my house. <laughs> so I'm looking, and I'm like, did they mark a different address down? They're like, nope, they marked your address down. I was like, oh my god, I don't know where it is. So I'm like walking around the neighborhood looking for this thing. Oh my god. So I found it on someone else's porch. And, uh, <laughs> did, which is did... stupid because they're supposed to get someone to sign for it. So they obviously didn't even bother with that. Oh my god. So I so... got all my stuff, brought it home, I opened it up, and it wait, had... Wait, 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 I have to ask. Did you like yeah. ring the doorbell and say, this is my computer, I'm taking it home? Or did you just like package no, thief I just, I just, <laughs> it's the neighbor like literally the house next door but their porch is like on the second story so you can't really oh. see it from the street Weird. so for a while i was just like looking around for my packages oh my um, goodness yeah they have like a staircase that like winds up they're like huh. yeah anyway um <laughs> the grade of the land is weird so it does funny stuff to the street um yeah, so then I got it, and I tried to turn it on, and it was not working properly. <laughs> it kept crashing, so then I opened it up and saw like all the pieces were all like jumbled up and oh, not no. good. Or at least some of them were, and the fan had popped off the CPU. So I think that's what the, the problem is, is that the paste dried. And I got paste yesterday, I haven't put it on yet. But I'm hoping that works. But the funny thing is, is that our neighbor told my partner the other day that he'd recently installed security cameras at his door (laughs) so he actually saw all of this happen he's like oh yeah that ups guy was like a piece of work like he just was like throwing the boxes on the porch like didn't even care didn't knock on the door didn't do anything he just left them there and then left 
Oh my god. Right. My computer. <laughs> you don't just you don't just throw people stuff. Oh I'm I'm very and sorry. Wrong and the funny thing is is that to go up those stairs they have giant numbers for their like <laughs> the, the address. So he had to look at these numbers as he's going up the stairs. Oh my god. Didn't register. Yeah. Wow. What what a wild ride your computer <laughs> went on. I know. Uh, so ho- hopefully the paste fixes it. I'm going to do it today. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Uh, Matthias, have you been? Yeah. Um, like, my work uh, finally decided they have something for me to do, mm. which is, uh, well, it's kind of good. But it also meant um, it was kind of a hectic week, uh, driving to Munich and getting set up in a new project and um, recognizing, hey, you're like on paper, this is just a, um, a um, basically a project management office job. Um, and that's not really what I'm qualified for. So what's going on here? Do you actually want me to set uh, new impulses and in, in, in how this project is being run and stuff or not? So that had to go like back and forth a couple of times because mm-hmm. it's, this is like a, a big, big global corporate thingy hires a local agency for one thing who hired us to step in and help out. <laughs> Great. Yeah, you can imagine like it's uh, um, it's a thing. Um, but yeah, got that sorted out. The at least the colleagues are nice and um, and yeah. But but like I'm coming in there and have am kind of in the, in the most senior role in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, then again, the project project you gotta say because it's already four years old. So <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's a thing, but I got some good games going on, um, and that saved the week. Absolutely. Um, Games, games save everyone in the end. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad to be here now. Uh, and yeah. Awesome. I'm glad to have you here. (laughs) Also, that hit like in the, in the hottest week ever. Oh god! Yeah, so that also came to, to pass. Um, I'm, I'm like barely surviving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really fortunate with the weather being uh, pretty kind to me. But I feel like on Discord, everyone's been like, "It's hot," no matter where they are. Like the entire planet is just on fire. <laughs> yeah. Um. But it's it's actually been really like foggy here in San Francisco, which like anyone who's been to San Francisco for a long time knows that it is really foggy here. Like the I I used to always laugh um, when I would see tourists on a super foggy day and like their floral print shirts and their like shorts and their sandals, being like, "It's California. It's supposed to be sunny. It's like not not here. Nuh-uh. this is." We don't we don't get that here, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. So it was like super hella foggy uh, on the fourth, of course, because Fourth of July is when you want the least visibility in the sky, um, and that's how that goes pretty much every year. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see. I I watched all of Stranger Things over the course of basically a day and a half. <laughs> Um, I'm not yeah, going to spoil I, anything because I just finished episode five last night. Yeah, <sighs> it's get it's ramping up. I I gotta say I I I'm not again not going to spoil anything, but I do think season three is my favorite season so far. Oh, um, cool. See the first two episodes, I was like, oh man, like I feel same. like this is not, and now it's by episode five, I'm like, oh never mind, cool. it's it's actually like <laughs> now it's, it's super good. cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got. I might binge that when 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 we're done with this here. Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> I can't wait to watch more. I'm like excited for the next episode. It gave me so much inspiration for like yeah, Tales from really... the Loop, Things for the Flood, uh, Call of Cthulhu stuff. Um, so 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely yeah. a good watch there. Um, uh, what else did I do? Uh, I finally finished Eureka 7. I don't think I had finished that by the time I, uh, or, or by last episode. Um, I, I started rewatching that one because I finished Neon Genesis Evangelion and I was like, I don't think I was supposed to enjoy that. <laughs> like, here's no. the end. I was like, I don't think this is engineered to be enjoyable. So I'd like to watch something that's gonna like feel good to watch. <laughs> um, that's that's kind of like what I did on my trips to Munich uh, on on the commute. Basically, is mm-hmm. like listening to um, the way too long Waypoint podcast right. about <laughs> Ava. So. Yeah, the, the longer than Evangelion Waypoint podcast. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yep, yep. So it's been it's been a good two weeks. Um, but I think that's enough preamble. I do want to talk a little bit about this Radio Free Wolf thing um, because obviously there's a command in chat right now exclamation point Free Wolf, which has some info. So Radio Free Wolf is a weekend long marathon of RPGs and video games and all sorts of stuff across uh, several different channels. Um, and it is, we're raising money for the Big Bad Con Scholarship Fund, uh, which you can find at that CrowdRise link right there in the chat. Um, Big Bad Con is, I think, the best convention I have ever been to. Uh, it's very good. The community is amazing. The organization that runs it is amazing. Um, They do a lot of volunteer-led work. Uh, They, like, have actual policies (laughs) as a convention, which is kind of neat. It's weird that I have to call that out, but they have have really good policies around uh, safety, um, use of safety tools in games, and uh, diversity and inclusion, equity, all that fun stuff. Um, and the scholarship fund exists to help people who cannot afford to go, but who should go, either um, you know, people of marginalized communities who can't make it, uh, game designers that can really get a lot out of being in that space, uh, helping them get to the convention and afford to be there. So it is a very worthwhile cause, and I highly recommend that you um, that you donate to that CrowdRise uh, campaign. I will be, at the end of the stream, when I do shoutouts and stuff, um, I will be going through and seeing uh, if there were any donations on the CrowdRise uh, from between now and the end of the show, and I will be calling those out with thank yous at the end of the stream. Um, but really, seriously, Big Bad Con is, um, I think in the RPG space, it is the best place for your money in in a charitable sense um absolutely so if you're into rpgs and you're into making them better go click on that crowdrise link drop like a couple dollars if you got them it makes a big difference all right i think that's that's all my spiel for now i will talk about this over the course of the stream at breaks and stuff but uh matthias <laughs> We had a bit of an episode two weeks ago. Uh, you're muted. I thought I was unmuting myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, we did. Um, I mean, we ended on a very big thing. We ended on the god Jester paying a visit to um, Sister... Uh, Savior, right? Um, <laughs> no big deal. Just a god shows up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But before that, um, we also, um, well, we had a very tense altercation between um, verbal altercation between Henrin and uh, the sister, yeah. um, which showed well which i think made it clear to henrin that uh he can't count on um sister savior no no can't um, trust her at all duplicitous 
And... Hey now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we also had uh, we followed Dahlia around, um, making sure that uh, the camp is safe. But then uh, Dahlia was confronted by um, Mother Orbis and invited to dinner. Um, a thing she wasn't that keen on. Um, and when when she consulted Henry about it, um, he more or less just told her, "No, you're not going," or something like that. Right? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So you you got yourself excused, um, but then invited for breakfast. Um. So, <laughs> which we'll find out if you. If you're going to int- attend that or not, um, well, that's what I. That's an interesting thing. Um, before we go around and, or is there anything else major? Um, Poison that you wanna... some stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so... that was an important bit. I shouldn't forget <laughs> about that. Yes, Enrin. Um, actually, so here's a question: Was mm-hmm. it to? In part, it was to prove uh, Sabia wrong, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, you poisoned the water supplies of the of the refugee camp. Mm-hmm. And we haven't seen um, um, what that leads to yet, but I think that will be a thing today. Didn't you want us to roll health checks? Yes, we'll yeah. get to that. Um, yeah. So. Just a little bit of background uh, for anyone who hasn't seen the first two episodes. Uh, the group of us are part of a, a caravan of refugees trying to get into the shut uh, gates of the city Agilia for various reasons. Um, but yeah, I tried I tried to get Zabia, who is my character's sister and Jolie's character, uh, mm-hmm. I tried to get Zabia to go into the city for me, and she said no. And I said, things are only going to get worse. She, wait, she said no, because she wanted to know why, <laughs> and didn't get an explanation. <laughs> I gave you an explanation, just not the whole explanation. Anyway, not a very uh, convincing explanation. <laughs> my character is not a good person. Um, this is uh, this is well established. Uh, and so Henrin was like, if if you don't do this, if you don't take care of these these refugees, then stuff's only going to get worse. And then he decided to make things worse to prove a point because he's a monster. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Um, though I half agree with him, like not with the poisoning part, of course. <laughs> but stuff is getting um, uh, is getting worse. Um, I think um, where we cut in actually is um, that we see. Um, uh, a um uh, a new group of refugees arriving, um, and what's remarkable about them is we can quickly tell that um they're in in worse shape um than what we've seen in the in the camp, um, and in part because they show signs of uh, uh um of having having seen fighting like people the couple of them are wounded um uh there's definitely like a cart where we can actually see people um uh just being transported and um having more severe wounds um those that's like one cart of those um and the others uh with like kind of just a hollow stare in their eyes, uh, trudging along behind it um, as we come and uh, see the camp. So, can we review intents- our our bits? I'll get to that in this okay. moment. Um, Perfect. Uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, the war and its uh, signs are coming closer. Hmm. Um, yeah, and uh, let's go around and actually hear what your beliefs, instincts, and traits are. Um, and maybe we need to like revise or discuss or 
see what you've changed. For some, um, they have changed a little bit, I think. Or a lot of it. You want to go first, uh, Jolie? Yeah, sure. Um, so my first one is basically the same. Uh, Mother Orbis bears the fury of the northern conflict. I must escape her. I will persuade the guard at the gate of my innocence in the bloodshed to the north. Um, for those who haven't been watching the previous episodes, that's because it's a religious war and I am a nun. And the people in the city are skeptical of letting any religious figures into the city. Um, <clears throat> belief number two. The god king is dead. All must know where the world will burn. <laughs> Uh, Great. <laughs> I, I, I don't have an actionable sentence for this. I was trying to think of one, but I might actually just leave it open for now um, and just sort of leave that as the belief. What do you think, Matthias? Yeah, the big question is what does that actually mean, right? And right after, I can totally see that that's what Xavier feels but doesn't really know herself yet. Yeah. Um, um because the only person who has greater authority than her, like in a religious way right now, would be Mother Orbis. And I don't think she has any interest in going to Mother Orbis about this. Because I don't think Mother Orbis would believe her. Um, yeah, the weird thing is also that um, um, uh, the, the people with this, um, who follow this religion, they kind of... Um, they are kind of fractioned, right? Mm -hmm. Because, um, um, like, Mother Bo Orbis is more um, uh, generally uh, speaking uh, in favor of the God King. Is that correct? Is yeah. That I remember it, right? Yeah. And there's certainly, like, others who would more speak uh, in favor of the God Queen and uh, her teachings. Um, like, I assume the god Jester also has a couple of uh, followers who are like, oh, yeah, that's those teachings. But they're probably all, like, uh, more political pundits <laughs> or something. They don't, yeah. they don't run right. religious punk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, um, so it's a strange one for a nun to embrace um in normal times and well we'll see how it goes here yeah god is dead <laughs> um and like and i think because of the the situation in which she learned it that literally this god jester came down to her tent to like impart this wisdom upon her like i think there's a part of her that feels like she's now like compelled to to share this information like almost like a prophet yeah. so how do you think or feel uh, i think this is definitely something we want to discuss in a um uh potentially um very soon after we left off last time but with um uh, sister ziska yeah All right that might um help uh, coalesce that more where, where that's going potentially hmm. yeah but um, yeah that, that was just your two instincts What's, uh, let's beliefs? see it. yeah mm -hmm. my third belief is my only living relative hides his intentions from me I will pray to the gods for his salvation <laughs> which all, all three of your beliefs intersect in a strange manner <laughs> I <Yeah>. guess <laughs> yeah um, I'm I'm curious to find that out. Yeah, uh, my instincts are always persuade the unbeliever of the infallibility of the God Court. Uh, never let a man tell me what to do, and never defy Mother Orbis to her faith. And my traits are tonsured, restless, curious, by the book, by the blood, from the soil, faithful, and mark of privilege. Nice. nice. Uh, maybe let's hear about Dahlia next. You'll have to bear with me because I'm like switching between the screens and fine. I'm not used to having just one. <laughs> um, yeah, so 
yeah, my beliefs haven't changed since we started, and I'm going to try and work on that. <laughs> um, so shall I just read them all out for now? Yep. Okay, uh, so because of fleeing Egalia, I lost my status and failed my country, so now I seek to restore my reputation. To do so, I will keep peace within the camp and prove myself a good knight. That's my first one. Um, because of my loyalty to my oldest friend, Henron, I will help him achieve his goals of justice for our country, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit. <laughs> um I believe a good knight should be pure of heart, just and obedient. I will embody these things in order to be a good knight. And those are my beliefs. And they haven't changed since the start, and I'm going to work on that. <laughs> um, should I move on? To yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, always make sure I am in full harness for battle. And I follow Henry wherever he may go, as he's my lord and friend. Which I'm going to be doing more of. Gonna be great. Yep. <laughs> uh, and trades, um, I don't have many. Uh, so buy the book. Hmm? The eye trades are also trades. They also say something about your character. I just feel like I have less than say Zavia. <laughs> ah, well, that's like just. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, I have our culture traits. So buy the book, buy the blood, and from the soil. Uh, have Marpa Privilege, Sworn Homage, and Glory Hound. And that's what I have. For glory. Yeah. For glory. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, cool. Let's hear what... Um, or is there... Are you fine with those? I think they're still fine, right? Um, mm -hmm. I think we'll see a little bit about how they might move today. Um... Then uh, let's hear about Henron, and because something changed for you at least, right? Everyone's favorite deposed noble, really. Um, his beliefs are: I was betrayed. My justice lies within Agilia's walls. Those walls have holes. I will find them. Because Dahlia is the paragon of our people, I will hide my true intentions from her. Uh, and the belief that changed is. I know I cannot trust Zabia. I will use her only insofar as she gets me closer to my goals. Uh, my instincts are never reveal my hand until I'm ready to strike. I always wear my poisoner's ring. And never take a deal unless I'm winning. These traits are your lordship, desperate, murderous, by the book, by the blood from the soil, mark of privilege, and cold hearted. <laughs> yep. That's my brother. <laughs> hey! <laughs> With family oh, like yeah. this. <laughs> and and, and pronunciation wise, it is Zabia. Yep, yep. So we could talk a little bit about your beliefs there. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of. Uh, um, to the uh, the second and third one, mm -hmm. um, does a specific goal uh, follow from that um, that you kind of had in mind? So this is not right. We're talking here not a this is not a not a right or wrong question. This is a um, uh, what's the like. It's feeling out um, where you, as the player, want to go with the character or not, right. um, or how open or vague or how specific uh, next steps uh, you want to have. Um, I think I'm happy having them pretty vague. Like, I could see um, the Dahlia one making sense if I, like, achieve my aims without her knowing um, or do something mm -hmm. very specific to keep her from knowing what I'm doing. Um, but, like... My first belief has been such an Artha farm. Like, I don't, I don't mind having two that are hard to. to yeah. Deal so with there. yeah, the the first was very goal orientated. Uh, mm -hmm. That's also. I don't think like, right, finding the holes as one step, uh, then completing the next step on the, yeah, uh, on the path to justice. Yes. <laughs> justice <laughs> through murder. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, the second one is just a little bit more um, passive. The third one is just open-ended, um, opportunistic. Uh, so that's that's cool. I uh, just wanted to reflect on that. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so here's the question. Do we want to start with the um, uh, conv- conversation between Ziska um, and Sabia right after? Or do any of the other two have like a thing that's pressing on them? No, I mean Dahlia's got breakfast, but <laughs> well, yeah, does she? That's a that's a big big question, right? Not if Henwin has anything to say about it. <laughs> I think she'd rather she didn't, but. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> you don't want to go, but what do you do? That's the question. Do you still go? Uh... <laughs> I <It's>... forgot. <laughs> it is so funny watching you struggle over whether or not to go to breakfast. Like, because of the context of it, of course. But, like, just on its own without context, the idea yeah. of, like, I really don't want to go to breakfast is... <laughs> It's just, it tickles me. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, you don't have a belief about going to breakfast with her, so, like, it's fair if you don't go. <clears throat> I mean, you could write a belief about not going to breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be some easy, easy, Arthur. I will not go to breakfast. <laughs> but actually, what I think this plays into is your third belief here, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah... And I the know. question I, I understand, like Dahlia, do, do we see that somewhere where she's um, in the morning um, uh, tense about going or not going to breakfast? Um, yeah, because it's like I believe a, a, a good night will be just obedience and pure of heart, but like obedient to whom is the question? Am I going to be obedient like to Henry who's like, don't go? Oh, Mother Orbis is like, come to breakfast. <laughs> do, do we see this? Like, are you are you sitting down somewhere and like, I don't know, poking with your knife into like a piece of wood or something and like talking this through? Uh, also, she's probably, she's what are you sad. afraid of uh, about seeing Mother Orbis? That I'd, I'd be interested in that too. She's scary, and Dahlia just avoids religion. <laughs> just. Straight up avoids it. Doesn't want to know. <laughs> makes um, makes you feel guilty. Are you are you are you afraid that Mother Orbis will? Uh, I don't know. I think show she's you just... that you're not a good knight. Yeah, maybe the fact that you know she's never really practiced religion, and then like, yeah, I don't know. It's just not. Not her thing, and Mother Orbis is scary, and Henry's always told Dahlia to stay away from her, and it's like, oh, yeah, I don't know. So it sounds like you're not going. What are you doing instead? I'm sneaking out to the woods or something. Something like that. <laughs> Just... Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to see like where Henry has got to. <laughs> I mean, I, I think in the morning Henron's around, right? Like, yeah, Henron's yeah. probably procured some kind of, I don't know, stale bread for breakfast. Um, but you're and, not going to be in the camp, like you're not going to be near Mother Orbis because you hate her. <laughs> I'm going to be wherever our tent is, um, which is yes, purposefully far from <laughs> Mother Orbis because mm-hmm. I don't want her to know that I'm here. Um, okay. So um, um, that brings up another interesting question, mm-hmm. which is uh, um, you've poisoned the water. Mm-hmm. Uh, last time we spoke a little bit about this, that you might have wanted to avoid getting Dahlia sick. Yeah, I, I would have um, either gone to a different water source or set some water aside um, so yeah, that we okay. just had water in the tent. So here's a question. Is this something that Dahlia will, will pick up on or not? 
Uh, another thing is that if I didn't get some of Rubuses, I wouldn't be poisoned. I mean, that's just, I wouldn't know that, but yeah. <laughs> I think it's more likely, oh, yeah, but that, you, yeah, you don't know that. You as a player I don't know, know that, that yeah. but that's just another plus. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, yes, see. the the bonuses of not going to breakfast. <laughs> um, right. But yeah, I think it would be strange um, for Henren to have, like, set aside water um, yeah. the evening But you before. can be. Yeah, my question here is, is, is there a test here? Is there, because we do have tension here, right? Mm -hmm. We have the tension that, uh, Henren, you're... And maybe we can paint the scene a little bit. What breakfast looks like, actually, like um, uh, because yeah, um, maybe you see um, uh, in the morning uh, when you step out um, in the early morning light, you see that new, small, and uh, 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 very battered um, uh, trek of new refugees arriving, um, and. Uh, like what's probably a morning ritual is that that Dahlia puts on some armor, right? Just to follow your instinct, and you you usually have your morning uh, patrol route. We already know that the way you go through the camp. Um, and Dahlia, you have that um, uh, belief that you think what Enron is doing is just, and Enron has that belief. Well, he wants to keep you from. Uh, knowing about his actual devious plans. <laughs> so I think we might look, uh, this might be a versus test here, if you're interested in that. Because yeah, it's between it's players, uh, the question will be very much about your different intentions here. I think Henry's intentions are pretty clear, probably, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want her to know that I poison the water. Yeah. Or oh, to find, not find anything suspicious about what's going on. Yeah, like I covered my tracks with the poisoning. With the rest really of well. camp, that's yeah, um, that's all fine. But as far as like reading me, I think that's what I'm trying to like. I'm trying to keep keep a, a calm exterior yeah. of like, yes, I have not poisoned anyone yesterday, uh, or ever for that matter. <laughs> I also like um, uh, because you could you could just risk uh, Dahlia getting sick, right? Um, yeah. But that's not what you're doing. Um, no. So that's also <laughs> you have yeah. a heart. Oh my god! Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so um, and and your your input is definitely um, like called for here, um, Sophie. But is your intent, uh, your, on a player level, the intent here that you um, catch? Well, obviously, um, I don't know like what Henry has done, but I just think it's a bit odd. Like, I want to see. Well, that's what this test is about. If yeah. you notice, if you find something odd about, oh, about this whole thing, okay. that's what I would suppose. Does okay. it make sense? Okay. Yeah. So, what am I rolling? So, so this is a versus test where um, uh, you roll against each other, and then mm -hmm. we compare uh, who basically has more successes. Um, and I think, um, yeah, that was just a thumbs up. Oh yeah, yes. oh, that's you want. <laughs> just I want, yeah, uh, it's probably you're inconspicuous, or like about like yeah, it's not secret that you're getting water from somewhere but you're getting water from somewhere else and that shouldn't be noticed yeah uh, or come across strange like no i got new water just so you know <laughs> like that yeah, would be just, the I've, failure. I've, <laughs> I've never done anything to help us out before but i got us water <laughs> yeah exactly Odd. okay <laughs> um, um similar arrangements and... are so this is interesting because this is a skill versus um, stat role here. It's okay. going to be versus perception, which means, um, which means your, um, I think, yeah, your successes will be halved, uh, Sophie. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I was going to ask if I can fork anything, but I don't think I need to. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, you can, but you don't have to. Um, yeah. What's the what's the skill that Dylan's using? Inconspicuous. Got it. I um um you can argue for advantage here though, or like both of you could potentially. Um, I could the advantage. I could, yeah, I could see Dahlia having an advantage here in that again. Henry That's doesn't a kind of unusual. Henry doesn't yeah. take care of us, right? Like he he isn't a get thing. He he makes other people do things uh and take care of him. So, yeah. it's it's pretty out of character even if it's just a small thing like getting water. Mm. Yeah. Bit hard. <laughs> so that's a, a bonus die for you. Um, all right are you two so i get plus one okay Mm -hmm. um yep uh you enter zero for uh as a base op here okay Okay. or one um i don't know if the sheet handles zero properly it it defaults to zero i think okay oh no it it defaults to one just put in zero and see what happens Submit. I got two. Two. Okay. And do I micro okay. routine test for this then? Um, in a moment we will see what kind of test. Um, that's then dependent on. Gotcha. On versus what you're rolling. So you're learning observation, basically, Sophie. Like it's a new test, new skill you're testing. No, I, th- I think she's just rolling raw oh, perception, right? Because in- conspicuous is against another character's observation skill, so technically oh. you, would, you would be learning observation when you do this. Oh no. Okay, so I'm not rolling against stuff. Okay. It uses it'll use your stat, but yeah, because you don't have observation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how do I roll that again? Sorry. You on- click on on um, uh, well. perception. Okay. Mm. Oh. On the dicey and my modifier. Do I get an extra one then or not? Yes, you get a one uh, bonus. So that modifier is one, yeah. Yes. I'm being silly today. I think uh, I don't have any offer. I don't think I have offer. Yeah, I mean, this is what if you want to use a persona here, which uh, would you be have you one saying. Of. This is super important for my character. Uh, you kind of want to keep one persona in your back pocket because it's your get out of jail free yeah. card for dying or having super serious okay, consequences. Yeah, I've only got the one, so I won't do that then. Mm-hmm. Okay. I only got two successes. That's beatable. Hmm. <laughs> do I Maybe. Want to beat it? Um, and my base obstacle is double. Not- so yeah, it's, it's like four Dylan, it's four because you don't have observation. Okay. Oh no. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. I didn't do this. And no <laughs> success, yeah. Whew. Not suspicious. I've always been a very kind man. <laughs> <laughs> Deep down. Are you still like in your mind? Um, um being like, okay, so how do I patrol the camp to avoid any of the nuns? Probably, and so you probably don't even it. notice when it's Henrin that puts down a cup of water um, yeah. on the makeshift <laughs> table in your tent. Yeah. Yeah, she's probably just thinking like, how do I avoid the nun? How how do I how do I get out of this? Ah, <laughs> oh, water. How do I avoid the nuns? <laughs> so have you um have you sorted out that situation with breakfast then? S- so sort of. Um, it, it, it's sorted. I just need to not go into the camp today. Very well. <laughs> I suppose that is a solution of sorts. I played hooky. I just ran away. <laughs> oh, that's not being a good night, but oh well, it's fine. <laughs> That doesn't sound particularly just to me. <laughs> well then, if you're going to be here, 
Henry stands up. I might as well go for a walk about. I'll be back. They could just leave me here. What if the nuns find me? I'll come here. with you. Dahlia, you're a... You're a skilled swordsman. If somebody finds you and you don't want them to, you can just kill them. I'm not going to do that, though, because no one around here deserves murder. I suppose. I'll just come with you in case someone tries to attack you. Maybe the nuns will be after you. <laughs> uh, after yesterday, I wouldn't be surprised. All right. Just don't get invited to any more meals while we're out. Try not to. I just have that face, I think, you know. They just seem to like me. That I can understand. And then he just sort of gestures like a lead on. Okay. I'll be away. I think I want to cut here um, before we go to break at the top of the hour. I want to cut here to uh, Sabia. Um, how did you and Z Ziska spend the night? Like, did you stay together somewhere? or? Oh, yeah. I think we stayed in my tent. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, if it's morning, maybe it's better that we we're so dumbfounded by the experience that we couldn't even really talk. We kind of just were lying in silence in my tent. Yeah. I don't even know if we slept properly, but yeah. Yeah, I, th I think so too. Um, I think um, I want to see how that morning goes though um, between mm -hmm. you two. We would have had um, to get up quite early so that yeah. Mother Zabia would, like, before Mother Zabia would wake. I mean, Orbis. Mother Orbis. <laughs> Orbis would wake up. Yeah. And I want to want to get that health check in that you need to do. Yeah. Um, so you've got a um, you've got an attribute that's called health, and uh, that you can also test. Um, and this is an orb too one um oh, not bad. sorry I, should... I mean it's kind of in a i already told you the orb <laughs> it doesn't matter here though um and i think i last time i already said you if you fail it you you're getting a, a light wound okay um and uh if you if you just hit the orb you're just getting a superficial wound that will go away um, over the course of the day by itself. Um, and if you just exceed it by any amount of margin, um, like you won't be hampered at all. Okay. Um, Is health open-ended? I don't think it's open-ended. I don't know. I don't think so. Ba -da -ba -ba. Oh. Um, yes, we would probably drink with our meals, right? Why? Yeah, uh, that, that's up to you. Wouldn't we pray before our meals over the things that we are going to consume? Are you going to try and purify the stuff with God magic? So the 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 um uh, which um you might um but is that something you always do um and, and you don't you have just... an instinct that says this right that's like okay. a perfect instinct always bless the food i i i um i wasn't I looking to purify it i was just like maybe i'll at least get a blessing like at least advantage on this <laughs> well, my question is would you just not drink any water until breakfast yeah, that's the other one. Yeah. Okay, I'll just do the health test. Like, I'm not saying I want to poison you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you do. <laughs> well, you can't. A little this. bit? <laughs> All right. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think I would. Oh, Wait. no. 
Oh, you you only ha have a health of three. Of three, yeah. So Ooh, I knew really? it was gonna be. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be poison pretty bad. Oh no. Yeah. Um. So that takes us to how do wounds work and how do how, how this is our this first wound to getting hard. Yeah. Uh, you just uh, get to mark the uh, first. Uh, it's light a light wound. light wound, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Holy crap! That injury and recovery track is it's complex. something. Yeah. Uh, uh, so here, let me. Let me show yeah. chat. Uh, so, boom. <laughs> what am it's I uh... looking at? So the, the way this, <laughs> Is this works. this a periodic table? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this way, the way this works is um, uh, where it says tolerance. Um, mm -hmm. it, this stands for bruised, superficial, light, medium, severe, traumatic and mortal okay and when you for example uh hit someone in combat or something like that like you take your power and you add whatever weapon you're using to it and then mm -hmm. you might do a, a b6 wound or a b9 wound gotcha and then you just mark it um at that coordinate so if but I that, like if I roll the nine, then I would go and, up to not, the beam. not even if you hit, um, it's just your strength plus um um a wa we weapon modifier. Gotcha, it's flat so, damage then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you've got like power four and you've got a sword, which is three or four, um, it's pretty bad already. So I'd be B seven or B eight if I hit. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh. If uh, yeah, and if you um, click those, um, they add wound dice, which basically subtract from yeah, all sure. your tests. This is also a good way Ooh. if you have a high skill in something to get challenging tests is do them while you're wounded. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um. I think uh, because we're already at the top of the hour, when mm -hmm. we come back, we're, uh, we're going to see um, how oh, you're not feeling too well. And, uh... <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so we're going to step away for uh, about 10 minutes. And then when we get back, we will, yeah, we'll find out uh, how sick uh, Henry's poor ailing sister is. Um, but before we go, I would like to remind you that uh, today we are streaming as part of Radio Free Wolf, which is a weekend-long marathon of various games across various channels, raising money for the Big Bad Con Scholarship Fund. Please, if you have, like, a dollar to spare, click on that CrowdRise link, donate it there, and uh, help someone go to Big Bad Con. Um, but now it is time for our break. We will see you in just... A few minutes. See you soon. Hello and welcome back to episode three of Fun Shots, the Burning Shores of Agilia. I almost said the Burning Wheels of Agilia, um, which is an interesting portmanteau uh, there. Um, again, we are streaming as part of Radio Free Wolf. The link is in the chat. They're raising money for the Big Bad Con Scholarship Fund. I will do more spiel later. Um, but for now, all the information you need is on that CrowdRise link. Click on it. Donate some money if you got it. Um, but on a less positive note, <laughs> before the break, somebody got poisoned. And uh, I want to uh, Jolie quickly roll um, that health check again for Siska. Are we just assuming it's uh, the same amount? Maybe I'll uh, just do... If you say she she is a little bit uh, fitter than you, and then give her a um, bonus die. Sure. But you're already with her three pretty frail. 
Um, right. I don't even know why I have three health. I can't remember how that <laughs> how that happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, well, oh, you were seriously I'll, hurt in character creation, I think. Yeah, that, it might have been something that like can that. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll roll four d six for her. Um, she got two. So that yeah. means it, right? Yeah. For so she's like. Four. Slightly less ill than me. Yeah, for her it's just um, a superficial wound, which is uh, a little bit better. Uh, plus one in all penalties. Um, yeah, but I think yeah. So I mean, you had a um, uh, um, a strange night um, after you, which took way too long to fall asleep. Um, and when you do wake, you wake with this, um, um, with like you're still feeling drowsy, and then that, um, you feel that pain, um, mm -hmm. and, um, uh, upon waking up again, um, already. Yeah, I um, actually don't even think Sabia, maybe Sabia doesn't even realize that it's that she's been poisoned she might just think the whole experience from yesterday has like yeah upset her, her stomach and everything i bet she probably yeah she probably like wakes up in the morning and gets really ill and goes outside of her tent and finds somewhere to like probably like throw up or something and like mm. yeah she's not doing well she's probably like really ashy like skin right now very gray <clears throat> Yeah, that she, comes, she comes back to her tent and like gets back on her bedroll and just like groans, looking at Ziska. Who and yeah, and Ziska is um, uh, she's kind of like one step ahead of you in terms of um, oh, we need to get ready for the day. Um, still, like she still seems confused. She doesn't um, yet know what what last night means yet either fully but she's like um, um, at least trying to get ready um, pulling together some of the sheets um, but you do hear a groan from her as well and uh, she looks over to you and she's like oh hey are you alright? I think yeah Zabi is so Zabi's lying on the bed she's not even helping um, and she like holds a hand out to to this guy, she she grabs your hand and and looks. You do not, you do not look well. And I think Zabi like pats the bed, sort of to indicate like lie down for a second with me, please. Like I don't even want to. She doesn't even want to sit up. <clears throat> yeah, I think she does, and um, I don't know something. Maybe the food was bad last night. Do you think, or perhaps it was what happened? But I barely I slept. I don't know. They didn't seem angry, did they? No. So. How are doing? you feeling? Are you unwell this, this morning? I don't... Yeah, I feel off. It's strange. But maybe we just didn't sleep well. But you, you're actually not looking good, so I don't know. And, and I think she... she I think she, like, um, uh, scoots up a little bit to, to uh, uh, cradle your head. Mm -hmm. And um, um, brushes... Uh, the hair out of your uh, forehead. Um, Probably you don't like have damp, a, damp. Yeah, but she's like, at least it doesn't feel like you have a fever. Fe fever. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. What does this mean? I've never heard of a, a god dying before. Ziska, he's dead.
The I God King is us. dead, and this whole war is for nothing. I... So you, she, it's not like the God Jester is playing a trick on us, is it? Because I don't know. I didn't no. sense that it was a trick. Yeah. We have to tell Mother Orbis. I... I don't know if that is... a great idea. You know how she is. Do you think she would even listen? But isn't it our duty? We can't just keep this to ourselves. And, and she's the head of our order, and what do you say? But Ziska, you know how she gets. She never listens to me. She never I know, listens but, to you. But we had a visitation that changes things, doesn't it? The gorgeous that came to us. For her, she has to listen. <sighs> Zabia. I don't think Zabia. Like, it makes sense to tell Mother Orbit, but. but you don't want that to happen. Zabia, like, <laughs> does not like Mother Orbit. <laughs> um, so. I don't think. Um, Mm. I don't think think um, Ziska would just like Keep go over your head, um, just mm. like that, right? Um, I'm open but she's... to her like persuading me. Um, but I think yeah. can we role plays out just a little bit more to see what like yeah, comes to well, what she said it. I think she's she says um, um, yeah, but what do you? What do we do instead, then? I mean... Not really, like... This... We have this order, and... Um, we have to trust the mother. That's why she's the mother. She hasn't been a very kind mother. And Zabia, like... Um sort of, like, does something with their shoulder as if to indicate that, like, you know, there's... I think they've been... They've been at the wrong end of, like, a disciplining rod a few times. Oof. Uh, She reaches around to hold your other shoulder and puts her face in your hair. Ziska. We've been following Mother Orbis. A woman who has claimed a connection to the God King. But now we know that that is not true. But we do not... Who has she been following? It is not on, it's not on us to make these choices. Do we have an allegiance to her anymore? What are you saying? Does any of this make sense anymore? If the God King is dead, who is Mother Orbis to us? But a cruel woman with a rod. And her fearsome word. Sabia. Um, I think... We don't need her anymore, Siska. I think that's what this scene is about. 
Yeah. What's your intent here? I want her to. This it, this sounds really manipulative, but it's burning wheel, so I have to stay with the what I want out of this. I think I want, to, like, in a in a good-hearted way, I want Ziska to realize that like Mother Orbis is kind of a sham, and that maybe we need to just work together with this new information. Kind of like Splinter, mm-hmm. Splinter and- from the. Yeah, and and I'm asking here um, uh, also because right, and I'm getting the gist where this the direction is, but we, I think we need to be specific here because yeah, yeah sorry, that was a difference a good, between that wasn't a good intention. I need to make it a specific thing. Yeah, yeah, because there's a uh, it'll have huge impact, I think, on on the orb if you're like be convinced of this with conviction or mm-hmm. be hey, we need to be take it carefully here and be um and maybe not tell her right away and actually need to um keep this for us for now which is a way different than actually being completely Defy convinced by church. what you just said <laughs> yes. yeah yeah right um, so that's what I'm but you you can name the latter thing as as your intention as well I think that was her intention. Like <laughs> it is. Okay. You're already convinced that um, Burn it all yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. She's worshiping the equivalent of the devil. Look, it's now. called the burning shores of Agilia, not the like calm, peaceful shores of Agilia, so <laughs> not the like <laughs> yeah. yeah, the embers of Agilia. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Um oof. Yeah, I think my my intent is for her to follow me, I guess. Like, (laughs) if that makes sense. Yep. Um, And, and... uh, Follow me, follow the god jester. And and doubt the um, Mother Orbis um, um, uh, righteousness. By the book, not by the mother. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, that is uh, definitely um, straight up against um, her will, like which... suasion. Suasion, yeah. And her will is um, four, so you would need to hit four successes here. Yeah, let's talk a little bit what failure means, though. Okay. Uh, uh, I think it would be betraying um, your relationship if that a failure would just be she tells Mother Orbis on the next occasion. Um, yeah. So I think failure is more um, that she. Um, She will tell. Uh, uh, she will tell Mother Orbis about um, uh, what happened with the God Jester, um, with um, with just the slightest bit of pressure from Mother Orbis about what's been going on, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, like that, she will then fall back to, um, no, it's the mother. So I need to be honest here. Like even if it's to a fault. Um, that's the proper way to be and to do it. Yeah. 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 I see it. Like even the way she was talking, she like believes that mother Orbis will come around. Um, right. <laughs> well, she doesn't, um, I think she didn't consider that. Oh, what, what would this, uh, like, what does this mean um, for mother Orbis station? Um, mm-hmm. It was just like, no, the thing here to do is to uh, follow um, my order. Um, yeah. And uh, only only through you did she like even consider. Oh, you could have doubts about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, 
you're taking so, time. Are you taking your time here? So because you can definitely. Uh, if we have time, then yeah, I'll I'll take time. Um, also, I have meditation, and so I've been reading a little bit more about it. You can roll meditation before any test, apparently, to see if you're centered, and it's basically just a linked a linked <laughs> test. Um, do you want to do that? Might as well. <laughs> What's the um, uh, how how do they get to the op for meditation? It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, hang on. It doesn't give specific obs for centering yourself, which would have been nice. <laughs> which yeah, how is it supposed for to work? Then? Such a detailed book. <laughs> it gives yeah. obs for like recovery because you can also use it to recover from. Hmm. Uh, like illness and stuff. So I mean, I could spend the rest of the day meditating. <laughs> um, uh, each hour of meditation counts as an hour of rest for the purpose of recovering. Um, while meditating, Make a versus test between the meditation skill and the opponent's, and the opponent's skill. skill. Um, so would this just be against Ziska's will? Then? This is a skill, but... Because a skill would be much easier than a stat to be rolling against. I guess this isn't a versus test. Because this is one centering for a verse. Oh, yeah, for a versus. Yeah, this isn't a versus test. This is just gotcha. me rolling against her stat. All right. Uh, I mean, I think, no, I think. Um, so, well, OK, here's the actual question. We are missing the, 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 the thing here, right? Mm -hmm. um, what does meditation look like uh, for these nuns? Because if it's not like if you're lying in bed, um, that's not proper meditation, right? Meditation is some some um, very conscious act, um, right? I think so. The way that they describe it for centering, though, is that uh... it's just like it's it's like mental check in, right? It's just being like, yeah. where am I? Am I centered? Yes, no, okay, and then doing your test. As opposed yeah. to um, sitting and meditating on the subject beforehand. Yeah, it sort of assumes that she has a meditation practice, and now she's tapping into that before a test. Yeah. So I think um, um, I mean the op is zero here because there's no one, um, uh, nothing interrupting it um, except that discuss there, and I think that's that's a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Um so that raises it to one and let's just see if you okay. if you uh, hit that or not. Do it. Be the most centered. So ob one. Mm -hmm. Center oh justified. My God. Nope. Left justified. No. Right, I have a wound too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> yep. Blah, blah. Um so that raises the ob. Um, by one of the linked, what it's linking into. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, so yeah, so that time. makes it a five. Um, if you take your time, the additional um, failure consequence is that you're being directly interrupted by Henron and uh, okay. showing up there. Hello. <laughs> um, without like. So you don't know where Ziska stands at the end of this, or have, okay. will have doubts because. So I'm taking my time. Mm -hmm. Can my can I argue that we, like, we just were had confirmation that the God King is dead, and so there's some truth to what I'm saying that maybe all of he came to you and not to Mother Orbis, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think that's that's definitely an advantage. If you had ugly truth, um, that would have played into it, but you don't have ugly truth. Yeah. 
I think there's yeah. something to be said for the fact that you have a relationship too, right? Like, shouldn't that shouldn't that help you here? How many advantages do you get from arguing? I think you only do you only get one, Matthias. Usually, usually only one. Mm. If you, um, yeah. Um, is there a little bit the um, that you can even make this test in this situation at all? It's kind of the fictional positioning already. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You did talk about um, the rules of the church, though, so doctrine mm -hmm. could. Yeah, I think doctrine would make sense too. So three, I'm going to use one of my persona points on this one. Yeah, don't oh drink God, more of that us. poisoned water, though, than if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm just joking. It's got, it's got three persona, I think. I think you can do yeah. it. Oh, yeah. And it's ob five. Oh, oh, okay. Fuck. Roll some sixes. Blow them up. I'm like, do I want to pray before this, too? <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to pray hey. on this argument. <laughs> I'd be open for that. This guy would even help. He probably yeah, would. Like, let us let us pray together on this topic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm praying too. Like How's we'll sit and pray on it and have this conversation and pray together. I think that's what we do for a bit. And yeah, Great. so I'm, I think I'm just praying for like a blessing on us, which gives a plus one. To the next roll, or to the next roll, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and rolling. I think she like I think this is still in the same position actually in bed, where you uh, um maybe you just grab um like she slung a, an arm around you and you then grab her hand again and start um speaking the words and she falls yeah. in um like very softly still with her face uh, in your hair right yeah. yeah. Okay. Nothing better so than some good religious spooning. <laughs> okay, so holy the prayer, shit, the prayer helped. So I guess Let me load that. I don't know if extra. No, it's is already it's something. already open. It's already open ended. Oh yeah, true. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> that's why there's so many dice down there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, one from doctrine. One from. Uh, this is the truth to me. What was the other one that I got? I had another one. Doctrine. Uh, truth. Doctrine. Uh, oh I don't gosh. think she did. Because I had three modifiers before I did this faith roll. And I can't remember. I'll see you put in. Oh, no. Um, what yeah. was the very first one that we said? Doctrine. Um, oh, carefully. The advantage die. Oh, and you're carefully. doing it carefully. Yeah. Yeah, so now I have four advantage die, <laughs> plus one persona, ob five. This is it. Like, I can't add anything else. Here so. you go. Hey! <laughs> you can also explode that. You've got two sixes. I could. I mean, there's no reason to, but <laughs> yeah. Do it. Uh, uh, why is there no reason to? Um, Like, this is... If you want to solidify it, I think it... Um, uh, it's worth spending. Wait, but will it make a, a difference increasing the amount of successes? Uh, Don't I just get what I want when I succeed? Yeah, you get what you want, um, um, definitely, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, but like fate would add like extra points to the... You, you would get rid of a fate point and it could color it. Like, I think I would roleplay a, a seven um, success differently than a five success against a five so that's why, why i'm always open uh, like uh okay i mean do I... Just Just do it. yeah i'll do it i'll do it Just spend the points <laughs> julie <laughs> yeah i got it get in the fucking robot shinji hey another one. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so that's six successes okay, oh six, six okay <laughs> Um, I did. Okay. Whew. I think I think she um um 
I think because it's careful, right? There's a long silence um, when you suddenly f can feel. Um, uh, something warm and wet dripping onto your cheek and as you as you turn to look up at her um she's crying um silently and Sabia, I'm afraid. This explains so much. Yeah, anything Zabia starts like welling up as well. I'm afraid too. What do we do? Um, I want to give you the chance to kind of compose yourself before uh, Dahlia and Henrin show up yeah before Dahlia and Henrin show up yeah um, but I don't think you two have an answer right now for what, what do to do. do right okay it's just not a mother orbis is not the answer that's all we've decided so far. Exactly. Um, yeah. So I think we we cut over to you two. Um, or yeah. what does this look like? Is Henrin like marching towards uh, Zabia's tent? The tent, and and Dahlia's just following, or Pretty are much. you walking together? Or um, yeah. I think <laughs> Dahlia started off leading, and then Henrin kind of like took over. <laughs> yeah, pulls pulls ahead. I don't think it's even a conscious thing. Um, I think he just sort of like says lead the way and like this this you know you are essentially my bodyguard so of course um but he gets impatient and so eventually he just like slowly pulls ahead um until he's leading the way um along the way do we see signs of sickness in the camp is it is it visible and obvious uh yeah yeah, because that was the intention, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely like people um, uh, um, uh, retching outside, um, and um, like it's not all at once that this right. explodes. It's over the next couple of hours. Everyone is a little bit different, um, has eaten differently, uh, might have had still resources from before. Um, I think another thing that that. Uh, uh, um you notice is um uh a, a couple of uh the god shepherds people um are like huddled together and and uh like talking and looking over to where those how like those makeshift um community houses are um, mm -hmm. um those, those um uh, yeah mm. but that's 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 about it as you arrive at uh, put a pin in that time. one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Henrin just barges into the tent, um, like without calling or anything beforehand. Uh, just barges in, saying, "Well, what did I tell you?" Quick, does Dahlia follow or does Dahlia uh, stand Dahlia's outside? Following. She's following. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's like, what are we doing in here? <laughs> She's a bit like confused. Like, are you still like, in bed when we come in, Zabia? Are you um, still in bed? Probably not. Okay. Probably like tidying now or trying to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Is uh, Ziska still there? Do you um, think yeah, I think she's still here. Yeah. Because, like, now we're kind of like, what do we even do? Do we go back mm -hmm. to Mother Orvis? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I think there was also, like, a little bit of from last night that needed cleaning up because there right, that candles um, and some rituals. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, and uh, 
Zabi like is trying to stand up straight, but she's feeling like shaky. Like I don't know if any of you had food poisoning, but <laughs> yeah, it's rough. <laughs> oh, um, I see it got you too. And like pulls a scarf up over his mouth. And I don't. What's going on? Why? Why aren't we sick? How come everyone is sick except us? And yeah, <laughs> I Zabi don't know that is... necessarily everyone is sick except us. Oh, right. okay. um, but. <laughs> Uh, Henry would would just like casually throw out because we have a sense of hygiene, Dahlia. Zabia looks to Ziska, uh, and then back at the two. Everyone is sick. Well, many people. I take it you haven't looked outside yet. I hadn't noticed. I haven't been feeling very well. Ziska, perhaps when did? began after last night, perhaps. Perhaps if looks... you'd gone into the city when you had the opportunity, you would have the medicine to deal with this. I don't think this has anything to do with medicine, brother. And oh, of back course to not. And Siska looks at you um, in this kind of bewildered stare uh, that kind of throws like... We're not telling Mother Orbis, but you're... What? <laughs> You want to tell him, right? Um, Who is this guy? As you can, um, with, with, um, uh, and uh, I think just uh, turns back to um, uh, maybe just pass, um, and and like opens the trunk and uh, Who are you? Away some stuff. What are you doing in my sister's tent? We are praying. Edward, we can't just barge into people's tents. This is like. I'm Not just a... right. A revelation came to us. I wanna, I wanna. This isn't a powered by the apocalypse game. I can't read a person. What's the equivalent of reading a person? I don't. It is. It is. Um. Actually, perception. What do you wanna know? You were trying to make me do a falsehood test, basically. I wanna. I wanna pick up on what's going on between uh, Ziska and Zabia, like. Like saying, oh, we were just praying is sort of passing off like both how monumental your ritual last night was and uh, completely blowing off the fact that Zabia and Ziska have a thing going on. Yeah, I think Ziska um, straightens up and, and folds her hands in front of herself and uh, looks looks down. I'm, I'm sister... What's the full title? Let me check quickly. Something Ziska, like the best. dutiful hand. Yeah, I'm Sister Ziska of the dutiful hand, my lord. What a name. Uh, demurely uh, looking down at the floor. Um, so uh, she's definitely helping with etiquette <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the test is. Um, yeah. Um, I mean... If there is a test, right? Because if um, uh, this could also be uh, not a post and just a graduated just a thing. Yeah, or a graduated thing where we just uh, you let you roll and see how many successes you get. And uh, if it's just one, then you're like, oh, there's something going on more. That's more between the two. And if it's like more, then it's like, oh, yeah, you read the full situation. Depends on how a post uh, jolly is. Too. Um, I don't think she would want Hanron to know about this relationship. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have falsehood? Or would or I? Don't, well, I don't know what you're doing, right? Uh, and so we were just praying, which is true. Um, yeah, and she's but and she's not, not just. Now. Yeah. yeah. I I seem to remember rolling falsehood for telling only part of the truth just an yeah. episode ago. Mm -hmm. Agree. <laughs> but like I don't know if the failure is that you know the truth, you just know that I'm not telling the truth cuz I don't know the truth about Henry even though you failed your falsehood. Right. Yeah. Like I don't know what your plans are. Yeah. I don't I don't need to know that you met a god yesterday right like 
But what I, yeah. I what I as a player want to know is that y- you and Ziska have a connection that Henry could exploit. What the nature right. of that connection is, I don't necessarily need to know that. But mm-hmm. is that is that amenable to you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you want to handle that, Matthias? Um. I mean, it does sound like falsehood. You're trying to hide something um, uh, by lying about it versus, and then would be observation. Is it observation? Or I think it's will yeah. against the person's will for falsehood. Um, could I get help from my dutiful night detective? Is that possible? Um, I guess so. Like, I mean, Dahlia's told me saying this is impolite to barge into pet. It absolutely and is. Just <laughs> curiosity, like pure human curiosity. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Oh, we lost Jolie out of Discord. Do do. Jolie, come back. Come back. <laughs> hey, there you are. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, people were like it's... sending messages in Discord and it was bothering me, so I quit and then realized that I should Oops. not have quit. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's false. It's, it's uh, um, versus the will of the character you're deceiving. Yeah. Um, so, can I help or who are you helping? Depend. Yeah, who you're helping and how? Probably Henry. <laughs> <'Cause... laughs> yeah, but like, know. yeah, how are you but helping you... him? Curiosity. But you need an appropriate know. skill. Do you have observation? You're actually, employing here. I... No, I don't and have observation. Can... I'm just building that. Can you link into someone's stat? I don't think because he's using will, so you can't actually link or yeah. fork mm. into a stat. Yeah. Also, um. But I guess it would increase also, my obstacle. Also, it's not. It's not an. It's not. It's not a versus test. No, it's just me just rolling my skill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's only one person rolling here, so yeah. Uh, by help, my question was, uh, I guess less. Can can Dahlia help me because I'm not rolling anything? So which is can Dahlia hinder Zabia? Because we've established that Dahlia like does this sort of detective stuff every single mm-hmm. day. It would make Great. sense if she was also paying attention to Hal. Detective Dahlia. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm imagining a, a, a noir spin-off of Dahlia now. Uh, you just have to do something in the fiction that um, resembles a skill that can do this, and then uh, uh, I can see that increasing the orb. You know. uh, okay, what do I have? Attribute. Wait, where are my skills? Uh, down below oh. the Artha. Yeah. Uh. I'm not seeing a lot. Uh... I mean, I'm I'm seeing many skills, but I'm not seeing a lot that would apply. Yeah. Here. yeah, I'm just trying to understand the fictional reason that she's. Yeah, helping. It's not really. Especially if we're just nuns praying yeah. at a task. Like I don't know. If I would be suspicious anyway, like I'd probably just think, oh yeah, they yeah, pray. And- in the same way that Zabia wasn't suspicious of drinking water earlier. Okay. So it's... Yeah. It's just, oh, it's two nuns praying. Yep, that's what they do. <laughs> and now I just reminded myself of like, oh yeah, they're just gals, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh god, Dahlia's an awful person. <laughs> yeah, it's just so... two nuns. Uh, and it's your so odd is my perception then? No, um, yeah, uh, your will. Will. Oh, my will. Uh, mm-hmm. they're the same. They're, it's four. Okay. Um, so I got help from Ziska. And, uh, do I get plus one because it's true that we are praying <laughs> and we're nuns? Yeah, yeah. There's, you, you're truth. using a kind of, it's kind of yeah. Truth, yeah. yeah. Okay, and it so it was four. Yes, mm-hmm. 
which means it's eight. <laughs> so we're probably not going to succeed at this. Explode a lot. Like, I know 4th of July was two days ago, but... Let's see, any <laughs> six of... You got one I mean, one I'll, six. I'll try. I'll try. It's always worth it. Uh. Except this time. Um... <laughs> <laughs> always <laughs> except for when it's not. <laughs> no, it's just... I just have I to do it three those... more times and I learn how to do falsehood properly. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be strong then, though. So, yeah. I, I think there's something in your, like, maybe how quickly you say, we were just praying, mm -hmm. um, that I, I pick up that, like, there's something going on between the two of you that you don't want me to know about. Yeah. Um, and so, Henry just sort of narrows his eyes. Just praying. Of course. Because praying has gotten you so far. More than brother. I think this illness is a result of something that happened last night. A revelation. Stop making me laugh. <laughs> the dramatic yeah, no, <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> like, this guy's like throwing side eyes at you, but like, definitely, like, oh, are we doing this? We're doing this. Apparently, we're doing this. Really? Um, you care to share? Yeah, and, and Matthias, what I was thinking is more that just like we're in charge of this information as opposed to yeah. Mother Orbis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, this guy's picking that up. She was wasn't prepared that it's happening yeah. so soon. I mean, I'm playing into my belief. My belief is almost no. Almost so, no. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, we had a visitation from the God Jester. <sighs> <laughs> Did he bring cookies? No, and she reaches and, and and looks around, and she picks up this little jingling bell. This they left this. They told us that the God King is dead. Henrin, do you know what this means for the war? It means the whole thing is just as much of a sham as everybody already knows it is. Maybe it could end. So what, you want to just walk all the way back there and tell everyone, the God King is dead, you can put down your weapons now. I want to get into... Agilia. They'd be able to help us. I think you actually, I think you catch uh, Henry's jaw clench. When you say that. Uh, oh boy. Well. The opportunity we discussed before still stands, I think. You lied to me, though. Because you're being so honest with me now. And he looks pointedly at Ziska. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Xavier says, uh, uh, we both go. She no, wants us to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dahlia's gonna volunteer to come as well, yeah. Dahlia, we've been over this. You don't look like a nun. But I could, you know, serve as, you know, just protection, just. The nuns, they might be attacked. Between the, the inn and the city gates. If we come in peace and I don't carry any weapons. Henry's going to step, like, really close to you, Dahlia. <laughs> oh, um, okay. And, like, try and whisper, basically, in your ear. Dahlia. Your weapons are valuable on your person. 
we will find another way. Oh, okay. If if we're sure we can. I just want to make sure everyone is safe. Cinnamon roll. <laughs> that's that's how you got where you are, Dahlia. And he like pats you on the pauldron and like rattles a little bit. <laughs> I'll well, talk to the innkeeper. Okay. I doubt there's much difference for him between one or two nuns. But I just want brother. I want to know why you want to get into the city. I'm curious about that too. <sighs> He just, like, opens the flap of the tent and, like, gestures to someone who's, like, vomiting into the pathway. <laughs> it is not safe here. It has never been safe here. You said that last time. And I was right. And you were lying. We're telling the truth, but only part of it. Well... When you decide to tell me your whole truth, perhaps we can make this even. Maybe we should just all be honest to each other. Whose side are you on, Z Dahlia? Everyone's. <laughs> the world doesn't work that way. He looks back at, at Zabia. Eventually, everyone chooses. I'll find another way in if you don't tell me. Surely it's in our best interest all to, you know, all to go. Come on, Henry, it'll, it'll be fine. May I have a word alone with my sister? Okay. And she's gonna do what she's told. <laughs> yeah, and and Zabia looks just, to Ziska and yeah. just. I mean, she already. Um, the Lord says that that. <laughs> she's just not yeah. to stick around for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. And she steps out. Do you, Dahlia? What do you do? Yeah. Just stand awkwardly outside the door, like, just, I guess. Oh, well, that was nice today. And is that where we go uh, to I, a second break? I think that's a good time for us to head to yeah. our break. So, um, <laughs> we're going to step it's away. It's so tense between us all the time. Always. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to step away uh, as a reminder. Today we are streaming to benefit Radio Free Wolf. It's a weekend-long marathon raising money for the Big Bad Con Scholarship Fund. If you have one, two, three, four, any number of dollars that you can spare, click on that CrowdRise link, donate what you can. It will help somebody who needs it get to a convention. That makes a huge difference. So, thank you so much. We will see you in just a little bit. Welcome back to the final hour of Fun Shots, The Burning Shores of Agilia, or at least episode three, that is. Um, so, Ziska and Dahlia have stepped outside. Uh, so, oh, jeez. Um, yeah, where do, where do we leave off? I, th I think there's there. like an awkward moment while like the two of us sit and stand in silence as mm -hmm. Ziska and Dahlia leave the tent Zabia our people didn't have to die we didn't have to come all the way here but someone 
decided to attack us. We have no armies. We have nothing but each other. Where do you propose we get justice, if not inside those walls? What justice do you see? Thing. What are the words of our people, Zabia? Who are we? By the book, yes, but also by the blood. Oh, if we are by the blood, if that is what people hold on to, I don't understand why you would keep secrets from your very own blood. You left, Zambia. Not by choice. That may be so. But it is what happened. I have extended every olive branch I can to you. I went out of my way to make this opportunity for you, because you're right, we are family. But as much as I have tried to trust you, I the one living heir of our family, the one person our enemies want most to kill, have trusted you. Where's your trust, Zabia? Where is your acknowledgement of the blood that we share? Because I haven't seen it. And I haven't seen it from you either. Don't act all righteous, brother. I'm not stupid. Um, she goes and, and she picks up like the tome of the book and she mm -hmm. says, this is what is most important to me. And? I have no reason. I have no reason to trust you. <laughs> As you said, we've been separated for a decade. If you separate an arm from its body, Does it still belong to the body? And I think she's like referencing a weird. Yeah, yeah. A, a weird piece of text from their holy book. I've seen what happens when limbs are removed from bodies, Sabia. I know that horror all too well. Do I? Is that all you are, then? The withering remains? No. Is that all our family is to you? I think she's sort of feeling ill again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he, he sees that and presses on. Mm -hmm. um, do their deaths, do their mutilated corpses, does none of that matter to you? You would rather clutch your book and hope it makes you feel better, drives away the sickness and the pain and the grief, than do something. This is the path you choose. 
passivity. Submission to a cruel mother. Not at all. She has no idea what she's doing. She serves a god that is dead. I do not serve dead god. What do you serve, then? If not a dead god, if not a living family, then what? Yourself? No. Your partner? And he casts a glance toward the door. And she kneels down. Because you're asking for it now. (laughs) (laughs) You asked for it. (laughs) Um, Taylor Swift, look what you made me do, starts playing. (laughs) Look what you made me do. Uh, (laughs) uh, Yeah. What do I want? I want... I'm going to pray. You can do some... (laughs) Do some God talk. I'm going to pray, but I want... What do I... What are you aiming at, you mean? Yeah. My question is, if a miracle happens... Mm -hmm. Because really, this is up to you, Dylan. Yeah. Is is the question, if a miracle happens, could Henron have a change of heart and open up? Yeah, or, I mean, will it, I guess it'll change the conversation in some meaningful way. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, that would that would change how Henry approaches this. The question is, am I... Is it a minor miracle? Or a minor miracle? I mean, it's still a miracle. I mean, if you it, can... It if depends you, what you I'm not calling show. down, like, a storm of yeah. fire to, like, incinerate, <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> Burn down the camp. Henry yeah. liked that. I think. Uh, I think <laughs> from Henry, remember this. <laughs> <laughs> what what Jolie is asking here is the minor miracles stuff. Like when it is dark, we pray for light. When sorcerers chant, we pray their spells be broken. When the blade is snapped, we pray that it be made whole. When blood ebbs from the wound, we pray that it it, it be closed. And in this, it's probably. I don't know if you have an effect in mind. I, I have a suggestion. Okay, yeah. You have that one bell from the jester. If you make that ring and it rings like... Um, not that it's just one little bell, but um, there's actual an actual chime that echoes through the like tent. Like a bell toll? Or more like there's a whole um, uh, justice outfit that that um, uh, that you hear. Yeah, I think like the, a whole Glockenspiel that happens um, <laughs> when you. Know, yeah. I think the the minimum bar here uh, sounds like a, a minor miracle to me. Uh, the minimum bar is just doing something that you couldn't clearly have possibly just do done. Yeah, like yeah. Or, or like the wind knocks a book over. Ooh. Right? Yeah. Like, it needs to be clearly a miracle, and it sounds like from what I'm hearing that pretty much anything that falls under minor miracle fits that suspension of disbelief is is a part of it. Yeah. Like trying to explain that away is gonna be hard. <laughs> so yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Um yeah, so I think I still have the bell in my hand anyway, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think I know what it's going to be. She's going to... Yeah. Um, uh, does she pray? To the heavenly court, I pray. <sighs> of course, every problem. I want to cut here quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to the outside, um, where I guess you two are standing awkwardly. <laughs> that, 
Dahlia yeah. and Ziska and and um she suddenly goes um like she's looking off and then she suddenly Oh by the gesture and um as you follow her gaze it's up to where those uh, little makeshift houses are um and uh, there's like a commotion there and you see how someone's thrown out of uh, that building um and uh tries to get up again and the person who's thrown him out like i don't know they have something in their hand and then like strike upwards so they go flying back like and you can see from the distance like there's like teeth and blood uh, flowing so thrown oh back God. what do you do uh dolly is gonna run to the scene of commotion yeah i think this guy definitely uh follows after you and there's people being uh, hurt uh for whatever yeah. reason i think um, i'm gonna have a sword drawn but she'll have a shield at the ready like ready to kind of bash someone not like seriously maim someone yeah i think you see you see someone who's like obviously um uh of uh so you see someone who's obviously also a scar and um and he's like pointing a club at the person um on uh, in the mud um uh who uh, gets pulled to, um, together by by other people of the God Shepherd, and uh, the Scarglander is uh, just goes. Uh, you keep out of here for good. That's ours now. And um, yeah, they're like the 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 the, um, uh, the little group of um, people of the God Shepherd. They're like pulling the the hurt person, uh, huddling them uh, uh, into their group. So um, these houses are they like for everyone or? Yeah, these are like community um, places, right? Um, oh, so everyone can. Where you... And this person, okay. Right. I mean, yeah, there's like no law that says that everyone. That but was the. Someone is... Yeah. Okay. No one. Oh, no someone is imposing themselves as no. That's that's ours now. And you sheepish little gosh shepherd people yeah. can stay out of okay. here. What do you what do you do? Like that that guy is like heading back uh, inside. Well, Dahlia's gonna run in and like put her and herself and her shield between like the guy with oh, whatever. Oh, that guy. was way too far away. Like you're like um, um uh, uh, and you're like running towards that, and uh, you see lo- those scared people um uh, who are like taking care of their hurt one. Um, mm-hmm. But also, these are like makeshift houses. It's not like that there's like a sturdy door. It's just an entrance which is open. Yeah, maybe it has okay. like a. So you could just barge and uh, charge in there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, she's probably gonna do that <laughs> and deal with the culprit. Detective Dahlia is here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, <laughs> as you as you do so, um, um, you find. Um, uh, I think there's 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 a couple of people um, uh, inside, and one of them is uh, um, is yelling, and it's like it's a one story building, right? That's not a second level. Um, uh, and, uh, but there's like some kind of uh, little god shepherd shrine on the one side, and like uh, two of them are like. Let uh, like one is yelling um, directly at two other people. Just throw that out. Like they can have their their shepherd back those sheep. We are not sheep. We sleep under solid roof from now on. Um, and it's the what? It's the that guy that you um. Oh no! Chris. Yes. Yeah, Bethid. This is the consequence. Bethid, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, as, as he hears you, like because that's clearly here. Um, like if you charge in in your armor, uh, like he walks around and he's like, "Oh, what? Oh, it's you! I warned you." 
want me but what? To get along with others and not cause trouble. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. We prayed, and he points um, his club uh, towards the general direction of where um, they might have gotten together, who knows, right? We prayed, and no, we were shown we should stand up for what we, what what is owed to us. Nothing is owed to you, though. We're all in this situation together. You're saying we're like them? Look at you. If we're all in the situation together... Why are you running around in this? And he points at your armor. We could sell that for food. He's got a point. That fine, <laughs> that fine sword there. But if I didn't have this, how would I keep the peace and deal with riffraff like you? I guess you got to chase choice to make okay how do I deal yeah. with this <laughs> yeah um cut him down <laughs> yeah that's what Henry would do how about you spend some time in the stocks or you know tied to a tree where you can truly pray with what, with what authority do you even try to insinuate this with your authority that you're we just we're not. Now. You can't treat people like that. They're just like us. We're all in this situation together. None of us have any food. They don't have any food. This is this is why this happened to our country. And he's now talking to the others. You uh -oh. see that? We've got to take matters in our own hands. Oh, okay, great. Here we go. And there's like two of them stepping up. Uh, threatening towards you. Um, you can think about what you want to do. I want to cut back. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Zabia is kneeling down, and she looks at the bell, and then she says, "No." And she puts the bell down, and she takes her book and flips it open. Um. And, and finds a passage that's that's just right. Um. To the heavenly courts we pray. The walls guarding the kingdom of the heavens. Those who know the path. To the guard, the god guard, who knows the gate. Show my brother salvation. Show him the path. And I'm going to pray for guidance. Oh. For Henrin. Ooh. What does that look like if it, if you do it? Do um, I see a I, way into the I city? You, I think you get like a vision for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I think... So what is the right is the question. And this could be metaphorical. I think if I succeed, it's a metaphorical answer that you get. That the right path is through religion. <laughs> like it's the philosophical right path, not the yeah. useful right path? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And if I fail? No dice. <laughs> well, if, if you fail... Um, Mother Orbis comes walking in, and okay. she's right now, and not alone. Will I get any? Uh... I'm gonna help. <laughs> How do I help? Because <laughs> I don't want that failure consequence. That is not <laughs> what I want. Are there uh, are there any effects that will be uh, supernatural though in failure? Um, oh yeah, let's like uh, yeah, like why beat about around the bush? No, like 
it's uh, it will become I don't know how yet, but it will become crystal clear that you're spot on that she's not been praying to an de- a dead god, but to some other entity, and like your Ooh. worst f- mother m- mother um oh she yeah she, okay oh like, like she's it, she's <laughs> serving the dead like a dead a dead god or something or. No, she's like actually be uh, um um serving someone else evil or okay. whatever. And that's actually... what like summons her to the tent essentially. Yeah. Oh fuck. Great. I hate all of this. How do I Oh no. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> what do I like until n- like uh, until that failure, I'm still on the fence if if she's just mm-hmm. and, a jerk <laughs> or if she's actually in league with evil forces right okay, okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, uh, there's special uh, faith things for helping right and let me check you might have a different way to help you actually. I don't think I'm taking my time here <laughs> It doesn't seem like it now. Nope. I think I can only be helped by people that also have faith. Fuck. Which you do not. I don't. <laughs> Surprising, literally no one. Yeah. yeah. I've got doctrine. I want to also say that suasion could maybe be forked into this, because again, I'm talking about salvation. Uh, And I think that might be it. But then I'm going to use a persona point again. Smart. Okay. Ready? Good God. What's the ob? Is there an ob? Five. Yes! Yes! <laughs> shit! Oh, holy shit! Oh my god, you got three sixes in there that oh exploded my god. out. Oh yes, I am a Praise faithful, be! <laughs> faithful servant! <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I think, I think, uh, yeah, you get a vision of, like, at least that's what Zabi's talking about is important and like the religion like there's things I don't know yeah you get the you're, you're too above the um, orb even I think there's definitely um, um, an effect like a chime from from that's way beyond what this little bell can do and maybe that's what is the the thing that I don't know how you because that's Obviously, up to you. Well, I was praying to a different god this time. I was praying to the god guard, who knows the gates. We sound like, um, do we hear the the like clanking of chains pulling a gate open? Oh my god! Do okay, just because we have yes. been watching Stranger Things, Dylan. <laughs> can we drop? You know the black space that mm-hmm. uh, Eleven drops yeah, into yeah, when yeah. she sees. Can the tent just go completely like black space? And we turn mm-hmm. around and there's like a gate opening or something. And mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, so the whole t- tent gets really, really dark. And we're just in this empty black space. And then we hear the chinking of chains of like a gate opening <clears throat> and then light pouring out of it. Zabia, what is this? Um. <laughs> Should we roll steel tests? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. I think I have good steel. Eh, I have okay steel. It's an ob. Five. It's so whatever your hesitation is, Dylan. My should hesitation be is six? So it's six. Add five because of this is a supernatural thing, I think, is what we said last time. Um, yeah, am... but maybe potentially subtract you have your cold hearted or something. Yeah, I have cold, oh. cold hearted. I think that's around murder. Surprise, fear, and intimidation. Okay. Yeah. I think that that kind of fought, yeah. that's, this is surprising and intimidating. So it goes down uh, by, one. by one. Wow. So yeah, by one. So it's <laughs> a 10. 
A ten? Top ten? Why is my hesitation so high? Jesus. Mine's high it's, too. It's high for everyone. Everyone. Oof. Yeah. It's it's the I'm the scrolling. test determines um most of the time yeah, you'll you'll definitely be hesitating, mm -hmm. but for how long? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh okay, so modifiers none. Artha none. Obstacle ten. Give me some sixes. Fuck. Yeah. Oh. So you gotta choose um your reaction though. So basically, um well for you it's eight uh beats of the heart and for Jolie it's seven beats of the heart where you are you can only do one of four things, uh, and that's uh, stand and drool, um, run away screaming, um, throw you down, yourself down and beg for mercy, um, or swoon. Swoon. Is that like faint? <laughs> just pass that. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Pass it. yeah. Do I just stand there in awe, or do I pass out? Um... I mean, this will also play into uh, because you're actually getting guidance here, right? So, I think I just stand there, slack jawed. Yeah. Meanwhile, Zabio falls like face to the ground, <laughs> begging price. for mercy again. <laughs> yeah. Again. Yeah. yeah. Why does she keep doing this to herself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing this on a daily basis now. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that rush. I mean, it does explain what's happening to you, like or like your beliefs super well. Imagine this shit happens to you every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> but you still got a taste yeah. of it, so now she just yeah. keeps dying. Um, <laughs> Chasing the godly dragon. Yeah, yeah. So she just falls to the. I guess I I I stop blubbering first. Mm -hmm. So, but what happens in those seven beats, Matthias? Uh, in those seven beats, uh, we need to see what happens, what decision Dahlia makes. Yeah. Mm. There are um, three rough hands, as you call them, with clubs are advancing on you. What do you do? Oh, God. Um, Dahlia is shield. <laughs> She's going to like raise her shield. Um, she'll put her hand on her sword. But like not yeah. draw it. Just what like do you want? A, I don't know, like as a conspicuous kind of thing. Like, don't I will do this. Like you're trying to they intimidate would... them down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you have intimidation? I don't know. It's a good. Intimidation good question. also only leads to people hesitating. Um, mm. So you can do something in, in the time in between. They are coming to basically throw you out or beat you up. Um, um, well, I would want to disarm them rather than straight up stabby. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. the question is, are you going to pull your sword on them or not? Um in order to disarm them, perhaps, like if I can use my sword, like to kind of chop the clubs, as it were, like just be like, "What are you gonna do now?" Like I don't know, just break their weapons. Because if they're only wooden clubs, then yeah, and we can, I think we can resolve how that goes next time. Well, but it becomes clear that you draw your sword. She's still gonna um, be like non-violent as much as can be. The non-violent option is to run away here. Yeah, like non-violence yeah. only only works if your opponent is willing to participate like, in non-violence. Could she intimidate them into standing down? You uh, can only intimidate for them to hesitate. That's what intimidation does in Burning oh, Wheel. Really? Yeah. So if um, I can hesitate, I can just remove their weapons. Like Intimidation can make give you the time to talk them like into persuading... Uh it's better for you if you don't want to fight me because I'm a knight and you have flimsy. Um, <laughs> you have sticks. Uh, sticks. Yeah, like, yeah. like, come on, do you really want to do this? Oh, yeah. like a per this, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But she, um, I'm just saying, like, uh, um, uh, it's it's a dangerous course of action. She doesn't have intimidation. 
Okay. But do you, but, do you have um, persuade? Because that almost sounds like this is in your best interest, which would be a persuade, right? Yeah, but there's no time to uh, talk to them. Okay. Intimidation would give you the time, the hesitation probably, yeah. um, to talk to them down. But, I mean, they they just, like, uh, okay. kicked someone out. They all, they're they already, like, uh, um, and, and, and they have an ad- adrenaline rush. They're so. in a mood. Yep. It might have to come to violence. It might have to, um, but we can see um, what it actually comes to. You can still go for that intimidation thing and just like intimidatingly do a sword move for next time. Flourish. Yeah. Um, yeah. So glory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think that's what we end on. Uh, you pulling your weapon. Just drawing the sword. Those, yeah, and you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Henrin staring into the guidance the uh, the god guard is giving you and um, Zabia crying and praying (laughs) as is her way (laughs) yeah awesome alright so that is a bit of a cliffhanger but uh, that's the cliffhanger we got Uh, there is one as per usual, right? Like <laughs> last uh, first episode, we ended on "Hey, Azabia, I need to talk to you." Last episode, <laughs> we ended on "Oh yeah, there's a god here." So yeah. uh, this is just sort of par for the course. Um, there is one episode left in the series, but before we get to that, and before you go anywhere, because we have stuff after shoutouts, let's do said shoutouts. So, uh, Sophie, Hi. who are you? Where can people find you? Hi, I'm Sophie May. Um, I have been on holiday, so I've not done much. Uh, but I will be back in London next week, actually, tomorrow night. Um, and then I'll be back to my usual stuff. Um, I actually have a game slot free if anyone wants me for Mondays or Wednesdays. Hit me up. I've got a slot free. Um, other than that, Tuesdays, I am on Capricorn's channel with Casa Strad by the book. Um, that's going really well. We've really not gone by the book. <laughs> uh, Wednesdays and potentially Thursdays are my own streaming. I will be doing games. I recently brought The Witcher 3 because I was like, oh, this is so fun. Um, yeah, Thursdays is a bit iffy because I have podcast recording night. Ooh, fun. Get hyped for that. Um, and Fridays is my day off. So, yeah, I currently have Mondays and Wednesdays free if anyone wants me. Yeah. Save me from uni work. <laughs> <laughs> oh and Saturday's obvious well actually we'll get to that because we got one episode left and now it's it's changed but yeah <laughs> uh Jolie yeah. hi uh got? that was am I, am I muted I'm not muted no you're right? good okay um what do I got I I'm here in two weeks from now playing this game uh uh what else is going on I, I play a, a game on off the table it's urban shadows and it's super fun i'm playing a fairy doctor uh, every thursday at uh seven pacific and then also i have my own channel called pen and paper pals and we are playing burning wheel on that channel as well a slightly different campaign uh set in a spooky forest with a bunch of villagers that uh made some deals with evil spirits and overthrew their lord and so now we're in the aftermath of a village rebellion uh with ghosts and stuff Great. so that's our that's our, yeah um so and that that'll be uh next sunday at noon pacific and that's on pen paper bells and uh yeah you can find me on twitter at jolie olio uh for more updates about all of those things that i'm doing fantastic last but certainly not least the wrangler of chaos matthias I, you can find me at MTHSBLJR on Twitter and on off underscore the table on Thursday and Friday um, while I'm running uh, Sangohon of the Claiming. And next yeah, next Saturday on Katie Faye's channel um, for our second session of our <laughs> Kanata Dark or Cthulhu Dark campaign in, Can- in a, a remote resort town in Canada, which uh, first session shaped up really nicely. Um, excited to to go back to that. And on Sunday, 
uh, yeah, on Jolie's channel, Pen and Paper Pals, for where I get to play um, my village wife, who's really awesome. It's really cool. I nice. love her children too. She's got three kids, and they're great. I bought them all with relationships, and <laughs> uh, yes, I bought and... my children. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> Awesome. Um, I am Dylan, a.k.a. Anarsis. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Patreon, and Ichio at Anarsis. I make games, I play games, I talk about games. I, I games. Games are what I do. Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, so, this has been part of Radio Free Wolf, um, which is a weekend-long marathon of game stuff. Um, and we will be passing all of y'all on to somebody else. Uh, Alex Tolley lives after this, who is playing da, 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 Tales from the Loop. Yo, that is a good game. Uh, we we talked a little bit about Stranger Things. If you like Stranger Things, you're gonna love Tales from the Loop. Um, but as for this channel, uh, you can see me live uh, today in about an hour at 4 p.m. I'm doing a dual stream with a uh, good stream friend Dragon Sparks. We are both going to be streaming Apex Legends as we uh, try and not die. Uh, so good luck to us on that. On Wednesday, I will be back here with more Spellforce 3. And on Saturday, so same time we had this, um, will be the next episode of uh, Fun Shots Where Memories Sleep, our Ryutama game that we're doing here on Fun Shots. Uh, but, for this show, for The Burning Shores of Agilia, we will be back in two weeks, not on Saturday, but on Sunday, uh, because of schedule conflicts, we will be back on Sunday, the, I should just check a calendar, uh, the 14th, back on Sunday, the 14th, at noon Pacific, for the final episode of Fun Shots, The Burning Shores of Agilia. So... Definitely tune back in for that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Before we go, I want to say some thank yous for the stuff that came in today. Um, thank you, Davidson, uh, Ken, for the follow today. Thank you to Lynn, Katie, and of course, Sophie for the hosts today. Um, thank you, Rock, for the 300 bits. And let me just refresh the crowd rise page here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Thank you to TVM Rock for the $25 donation to the Big Bad Con Scholarship Fund and Sean Hayworth for the $10 to the Big Bad Con Scholarship Fund. You are really making a big difference in helping some nerds be better nerds. So thank you very, very much. We are going to pass you on to... Uh, a, a, a new streamer so stick around we'll get a host going in just a minute but most importantly have a wonderful rest of your day bye <laughs>